I grew up with dogs, breeding and showing them, so they've always uh, been a very important part of my life. So I do this sort of show about 20 times a year, actually. I've got three, three dogs at home, plus some other uh, dogs that I help my friends with as well. So I'm showing six dogs today. And I've already had a second prize and a first prize. First prize with Rupert, who I bred. So this is Rupert. I bred him 18 months ago. I have his mum at home um, and his sister Hetty. So I've just shown him in one of the classes here at Crofts and we got first prize. And there was about 17 dogs in the class as well, so we're absolutely delighted. Technically speaking, he's young and probably won't do much more today, but you never know. At Crofts, anything can happen, so we'll give it another go later on to see if he can win a bigger prize. You know, when I was running my own business, I used to say that the only time that I got, you know, a business out of my head and just focus on the dogs was when I came to a dog show. So it's an escape route for me as well. It, it's not been uh, beyond things when I've actually been on a phone call doing some business and I said, please ignore the dogs in the background. I'm at a dog show, but I'm still doing some business. So actually I go around the trade stands here and think, oh, that's a good idea or I could do that. So I'll come back on Sunday with no dogs and have a good old look around um, what's, uh, what's for sale here and watch some of the events. And I've probably got my business head down then more on Sunday when I'm not showing the dogs. When I was on Dragon's Den, you know, I was interviewing the entrepreneurs and decided if I wanted to get involved. I think with the dog showing, I walk into the ring and I'm trying to persuade the judge that I've got the very best dog here. And of course, I want the judge to say, you know, you're in. So it is role reversal, I think.